Welcome back to another episode of Dog Reaction Channel. I am going to learn and figure out today is one of the days that I'm going to be focusing on learning to make a theme song for these episodes so they're more fun. I don't know. I like the theme songs. You could do whatever you want. And they could be cute. They could be funny. I might do like a, like, like dogs, uh, like the videos I've already shown, a mashup. I, I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll, I'm going to learn how I have my tea because my office is a lot colder um, in here and I'm still getting over a cold. So I have my tea, my water, Kleenex, everything I need, my bliss decks, which I lost the lid for. So I'm just trying to keep it somewhere where I don't ruin uh, ruin it because chapstick is something I need even when I'm not sick. Let me know if you guys have like a weird obsession like of chapstick or like say hand cream and you need it on you all the time or else it'll bug you. I'm curious if you have that because that's me. I have to have my blistex. I have to shower every day. It's, it's weird. It's a part of my OCD I guess. Um, but anyways, let's rock and roll right into these videos. Personally, I feel like Blistex should sponsor me because I have about 12 of them, all, like just all around my room, in my car, all over. But let's get to number one here. Introducing our apartment dog to his new house in his very own backyard. Oh, <laughs> gotta go through the house first. Let's see the reaction. It looks like a spacious home. Really nice backyard, and is the other part behind the fence yours as well, or is that like your neighbor's? Oh, just sniffing it out. Oh, <laughs> beautiful sunset. This is his. That's so cute. <laughs> just happy <laughs> happy camper can't wait to get my dog uh, well he has his own back she has her own backyard here but I'd love to adopt another dog to give them another to give them a backyard to play around in okay on to number two on to number two oh <laughs> So <laughs> he looks like he's having fun. Just enjoying the ride. I think I doubled this, but whatever, you'll see it twice. It's cute. Oh. <laughs> I love the hat. I love the hat. I wish I could put anything on my dog, but she will eat it before I can do so. Um, are you able to put clothes on your animals, or do they try to eat it, or do they get mad at you for trying? On to number three, when your parents say vacation, but all you hear is staycation. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, oh. I don't really have a beach to bring to my bring. I mean, I brought her to our beach at home, but like it's still so it's wintry out right now. So, you know, there's not much of a beach to bring her to. But like at the same time, it's such a small beach. Like it's not even like I don't know going to California and sitting at the beach for the day, you know, or something like that, or 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 the beaches in um. Canada here like in probably Vancouver or I, I don't really know where there are beaches uh, off my heart but in Canada I know there's quite a bit but um, you know what I mean it's not really a big beach but yeah it, it's still a nice place to bring her however this is why I can't wait for summer because you know we could just do more and yes we do have beaches but they're a little further out they're like 
you gotta drive about 40 to an hour to get to a beach basically but yeah that's it for that one um also do you guys bring your pets on vacation with you <clears throat> um i i would love to but they're not big on, like but it's hard to to like say bring them on a plane or um it's not hard to travel though it's not hard to to drive with them but it's hard i guess i would not want to bring them on a plane but i would love to take them other places you know anyways that is it for that one and on to the next number four you're such a good boy. his smile when you're being such a good boy you should go get him a pup cup oh. <laughs> he deserves a pup cup for being such a good boy that's what he probably thinks okay and um, oh, and on to number four, five, I think. We're on five, yeah. Number five. Okay, when I was going through the movies, uh, or the videos up to share today, I was going through one, and there was this one with, um, where it says, come with me to see Arthur King, Arthur the King. I've never heard of this movie, actually, to be honest, so... Um, so before I, before I, uh, posted or wanted to share, I did do some research on what the movie is about. So it's called, De it's called Arthur the King. It's desperate for one last chance to win. Michael Light convinces a sponsor to back him and a team of athletes for the Adventure Racing World Championships in the Dominican Republic. As the team gets pushed to the outer limits of endurance, a dog named Arthur comes along for the ride, redefining what victory, loyalty, and friendship truly means. Well, that would be a good story. I would just be very sad if the dog was hurt, abandoned, or passed. Um, but I think that goes for most of us. So let's play the video. So come with me to see Arthur the King. First, let's grab some picks and some popcorn. The excitement is rising. It's a movie <coughs> adventure, resilience, and friendship. I recommend it. Oh, it's going too fast. I recommend it for furry or not. Friends of all shapes and sizes. No spoilers, though. You'll have to see it for yourself. This is the real Michael and his family whose story the movie is based on. See it now in theaters near you. Aww. If only our movie theater was a dog-friendly movie theater. I don't think it is. I don't know. Maybe it is now. It feels like more places are, are open to dog or animal or pet-friendly these days. So it is. So I guess we'll have to see. Um. Anyways, on to the next one. On to, no, I think, number six. Well, anyways, the next one. He thinks I'm dumb, dumb and blind. <laughs> He's like, oh, I don't see it. I don't see the hole. <laughs> I'm innocent. It's not there. Nothing's there. <laughs> I didn't dig. I'm good. I'm innocent. That's what he's doing. That's too funny. Do you have dogs that dig holes? Because mine do, and I do not like it. But right now we got, it is almost April, and we just got three feet of snow. Lovely. So there's no digging for a while until all the snow melts. But anyways, moving on to the next one. Sorry if you guys hear me drinking my tea, but it is something to keep my nose kind of feeling better right now. Um, if you guys have any recommendations of being in a cold office when you are sick and you don't have a heater on you, please let me know. Uh, yeah, no, I don't have a heater. I know that for a fact. Okay, anyways, on, I think we just have, two, yeah, three more to go, and then that is it for today. So, when you know you're not allowed to scare the lambs, but you just can't help yourself. <laughs> so, he, they all just run away from each other? I didn't see him scare them, though. Interesting. Uh, maybe I'll put my vo the volume up for this one just so you could hear what happened. But of course, little little poopy head. <laughs> he just wants to play. I don't think he's intentionally trying to spook them. 
but dogs do surprise you. Animals surprise you. Anyways, okay, moving on to two more. Hey guys, so that last one, um, how I said I keep the volume up. Well, I did not because it was one of those TikTok filter ones, so it wasn't. Um, so, so I don't really know how he scared them at all, but I'm assuming he just like barked or did something. Anyways, going on to the last two. Wait for it. <laughs> cowboy Miranda Lambert on music. If I was a cowboy. Well, is it like a song? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming he's uh, howling to a song. I don't think I could play it, unfortunately. It might be a copyright, so. However, it is on Dogs of TikTok. <laughs> yeah, it's on Dogs of TikTok, so if you want, go listen in. Just in case that it's copyright, I don't want to. I don't want to. Um, so, yeah, you might just have to go watch it, but, it's, but you could tell he's so cute. Oh, okay. On to the very last one of the day. Okay, and here's the, to the last one. Why are you mad? Why are you mad, Walter? <laughs> Why is he mad? <laughs> I'll busy right now, and then I'll come sit with you. Oh, he just wants cuddles with his mama. That's it. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> He's like, well, "Why you gotta be busy?" <laughs> Why are you mad? Why are you busy? Why are you mad? Why aren't you giving me attention? Hey? <laughs> that's too cute. Okay, that's the last one that I'm going to do for today. And uh, we'll have two more coming this week. Um, have a great rest of your day. I know Easter's gonna, around the corner if you celebrate Easter. Um, but I will be posting on Good Friday anyway, so you'll get another one from me. Have an awesome rest of your day, guys, and we'll chat soon. Bye now.